A homeowner buys a house and a lender makes a loan. The loan is then resold and the money is used to make more loans. A servicer collects mortgage payments from the original loan borrower. If the borrower is late or does not make payments, the loan is defaulted. The servicer starts to file for foreclosure. The servicer hires an attorney 30 to 90 days later. A title search is conducted to determine all the property owners and liens. The lawyer files a complaint and issues a notice that a lawsuit is pending. A summons is sent to the borrower. If borrower cannot be found, a notice is published in a daily publication. A copy of the notice is also mailed to the borrower's last known address. If there is no response from the borrower within 20 days, the servicer requests the clerk of court records the loan is in default. The borrower can file a motion to dismiss the case. A mediation between the borrower and servicer is scheduled 120 days after foreclosure complaint is filed. Mediator files a report with the court. If borrower does not participate, the foreclosure can proceed. Lender files a motion for summary judgment and a hearing is scheduled. Judge approves the foreclosure and an online sale is scheduled 10 days or more after the judgment. Sale can be stopped if the borrower files for bankruptcy. If the sale occurs, a sale certificate will be issued 10 days after sale. The new homeowner is issued a certificate of title. If the house is still occupied by the former owner, the sheriff evicts him or her with a writ of possession. If the sale does not raise enough money to pay off the original mortgage, a deficiency judgment can be filed against the former borrower five years later.